Hello and welcome to the push response demo video. Now during this quick demonstration, I'm going to walk you through the software, show you exactly what it looks like and how it works. So when you first log in here, you're going to see the dashboard where we have a nice little breakdown of our statistics related to our account. We can see our subscribers, the list that we have, the notifications that we have sent and the notification statistics. Once we start sending out those notifications. Now on the left hand side, I'm going to click on list and then I'm going to click on web. Now here is where we can actually create the list of users that we're going to be collecting. So I'm going to click on new list here. From here, we need to give this a domain name so I can say my demo list 101 and then the timeout before show. This is how long do you want to wait before the pop up comes onto the screen asking them to accept your push notifications. So I can say three seconds and then we have a redirect URL where you can redirect them after a successful subscription. So this can be to a thank you page or another page on your website or wherever you want to go. And then next up we have the banner position. Where would you like for the pop up to appear? So as you can see, we have a desktop area and a mobile device area. So we can select these wherever we would like. So I'll keep mine in the top left corner. And then a way to edit, we can do a default way or a code way. I'm going to click on default. And when I do that, we can see a sample down here of what this pop up will look like. So I can enter my custom title here. I can change the button text of the OK and the cancel. Then I can add some additional text and I can also upload my own image to show as well. So I'm going to leave it just like it is right now and click on create. And once I do that, the software is going to go ahead and create this list for me. And once that list is created, we can see we have it here. And now I can customize the pop-ups. If I click on that there, we can see the different templates that we have here, the loading template, the success template and so forth. And we can customize exactly what that looks like and what the message says here. Let me go ahead and jump back here and I'm going to click on response scripts. And now that we have that list created, we need to take this script here and then paste it on our website where we would like that pop-up to appear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this script here and next we are going to jump over to my demo WordPress blog that I have set up and I'm going to go ahead and paste this into my header section of my blog. So we're going to paste it just like that. Click on save. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new incognito window and browse to my website. And once this loads up here, after three seconds, we should see my pop up appear as we can see there asking me if I would like to accept the push notifications from my website. Okay. So as you can see, I left it the default settings. Obviously I could have had my own image, my own headline, my own text and my own buttons as well. So I'm going to click on okay. And as you can see, it redirected me to Google because that was the setting that I had inside of my dashboard. So I accepted push notifications and now Whenever I use the software to send out a notification, it will appear on my dashboard. Now let's go ahead and jump back to the dashboard and cover everything else that we have here. So now I'm going to head over to notifications and I'm going to click on new notification. Now a notification is exactly what it sounds like where it's almost like a broadcast email where you can create it and then send it out one time. All right. So we have the picture. We can upload our own picture. We can give it a name. So I'm going to call this test name. We have a title and text that we can all send out. And then of course we have a link to where we want to redirect the user if they were to click on our notification. So maybe you want to send them to a sales page or an affiliate offer or something like that. So I'm just going to type out Google again. And then we have to choose which list we would like to send this to. So I'm going to send it to my demo list. And if you want to segment your list a little bit, we can add filters like location or users who have clicked or not clicked previous notifications that you have sent out. So I'm going to remove my filters for now and click on create. And now that we have that created, this can be an instant broadcast where we can send it out right now, or we can schedule this broadcast for a later time. Next, we have the broadcast lifetime, which right now is 24 hours. And then we have the ability to keep pushing this exact same notification until the subscriber clicks on it. So if we choose to do that, we can choose how many times we would like to repeat it and then how much time in between those intervals would we like to keep sending that message. So I'm going to keep that off right now. 
And if I was ready to send that, I would just click on send notification and it would be sent out to everyone on my list. Next up, we have sequences over here on the left hand side. Now this here is almost like an autoresponder. So I'm gonna click on new sequence. And once I do that, you're gonna see that we do have the same options as the notifications. So we have our name here, we have our title, our text and our link that we would like to send our users to. And then of course we have the list that we would like to use. So I'm gonna use my demo list and click on create. Now the difference here is that we can build this out using a mind map just like an automated follow-up sequence. So from here, I'm gonna click on sequences. And then as you can see, we start off with just this basic notification here which is the one that we just created. And if I want to change anything about that notification, I can always jump back and make edits. Now you're going to see we have clicked and not clicked. So I can branch off of this notification and send out another notification based on whether they clicked or did not click. So let's say they clicked my notification. I can choose clicked and then create a brand new notification here. So we're going to call this one clicked one. And we're going to use that all the way down here. And since they clicked my previous notification, maybe I want to send them to another sales page or a step two of a training video or something like that. So you would enter your website here and then the time delay that you want to send this out from the previous one. So if we sent the previous one out at Monday at eight o'clock, I can wait one hour and send this one out or however much time that you would like to wait. So we're going to wait one minute and click on create. So now what we have here is our basic notification. And if they click on that, they're gonna get redirected up here. And one minute later, they're gonna get this one. Now let's say they did not click. Let's create a new one. We're gonna call this one not click one. And let's use that all the way down here. Again, we have the link here. So if they didn't click, maybe I want to send them to a different sales page with a discount offer or something like that. And then we choose how long we would like to wait. And then that's down here with the not click. And then of course we can branch off of these notifications as well. Did they click this one or did they not click it and keep adding more and more notifications as far as you want. Now, if you ever wanted to dive in here and edit any of this information, we can click on child's over here and then simply click on the name of any of these and you can change the information. So clicked one, for example, I can click on that. I can change my link. I can swap out my image. I can swap out my title, different things like that. I'm going to go ahead and jump back to the sequences here. And we do have some additional settings over here. If I click on settings, we can add an initial message delay to our notification. We can choose the broadcast lifetime. And of course we have the same repeat settings for our sequences. Now we also do have some optional upgrades that you can check out once you do purchase push response. For the list, we have the Facebook notifications where not only can you collect and build your list with push notifications, but you can also build your Facebook list where you can send notifications right to their Facebook profile. So the same way that you check your notifications on Facebook that your friends give you, you can send a notification right to that exact same spot with a link to your website or affiliate offer. Another upgrade that we have is our Telegram bot, where Telegram is an active messaging app for phones with over 100 million users and you can build a list on there as well and send out notifications straight to their messaging inbox. Okay, so very, very powerful. And as you can see, push response is an extremely powerful tool that you can use to build a list of subscribers without even collecting any personal information from them, like their email address. And you have the power to reach out to them one-on-one -on -one with broadcast notifications or automated sequences.